Ten is on your side getting answers for room store customers. The furniture retailer filed for bankruptcy in December, but local, store, local room store continued selling. Now some customers are out thousands they paid up front, and their furniture orders have been canceled. Then on your side's Melanie Woodrow spoke with one customer today and confronted the store employee who sold him the furniture he still has not received. Melanie. Tom and Alvita, this has been a particular particularly frustrating process for the couple that we interviewed. We also received emails from two other families experiencing the same thing. Lisa Pruce spent months researching the perfect birthday present to ask her husband for. She's wanted a dining room set for a long time. Lisa and David decided on this one for $3,600. There was no mention of uh, any bankruptcy. Uh, in fact, all he said was um, the furniture has to be back ordered and uh, it should be here in mid-June. June came and went. David Proust says the room store first told him there was an issue with the container their furniture was shipped in, then that they were changing warehouses, and most recently that the order was canceled after the company was liquidated. According to this notice to customers, room store filed for bankruptcy in December. David Proust bought his furniture five months later in May. I would be very disappointed if I was sold furniture uh, and they knew that they were going out of business. So 10 on your side went to the room store on Virginia Beach Boulevard and found the Prusa salesperson, Chuck Quinn, who said employees knew the room store filed for bankruptcy. Basically everybody in the company knew it. Unfortunately, your customers didn't know it. Every day we were told, don't worry about it. There's a company coming in. Instead of another furniture retailer, the company turned out to be a liquidator. We were being told not to mention it. Who was telling you not to mention it? Basically, you know, up at the top, they were saying, okay, you don't necessarily want to get into a discussion about filing bankruptcy. That's not what we want to discuss because then instead of having customers believing in us, you know, who's going to buy? David Pruce and others like him now out the cash they put down. I still want to make good on the birthday gift. And the furniture never delivered. I don't know if it's dishonest. It's just the way that furniture companies have been known to do. So the only hope for customers like David Proust might be a claim form that he's filed against Room Store for the $1,000 that he had paid up front. As for the rest of the money, will he put that on a Room Store credit card, which he was able to cancel, and luckily he will not owe that money. Alvita and Tom, the people who could really be in a bind are the folks who paid either a lot of cash up front or paid for the furniture in cash up front. It seems that folks that had a financing plan or maybe had one of these credit cards, th that money seems to be a little bit easier to get out of. And by the way, we did try reaching out to the upper management of the room store. We tried calling their customer line, and that number's been disconnected. Wow. Wow. All right. Thanks, All right. Melanie. Well, an attorney did tell 10 on your side that anyone who paid up front should very carefully fill out that claim form providing all documentation necessary. Now we have a link to that claim form on our website. The attorney also said the company processing the claims will class the debtors together and whatever money is available will likely be split among them. Now 10 on your side will stay on this story and continue working for a solution.